Renuka Shinde and Seema Gavit have spent 25 years in prison on charges of kidnapping and murdering children including two decades as death convicts. But on January 18, Maharashtra's notorious serial killer sisters heaved a sigh of relief when the Bombay High Court ruled that they would not be hanged. The Bombay High Court commuted the death penalty of both the sisters to life imprisonment. The sisters were convicted of kidnapping 13 children, killing 5 of them and using the others as cover to snatch purses and chains between 1990 and 1996. Who are the Gavit sisters? Half sisters Renuka and Seema, along with their late mother Anjana Bai, were frequent offenders. Anjana Bai Gavit lived in a rented room in Gondhare Nagar, Pune with Renuka and Seema. According to the police, the trio moved around in western Maharashtra including Nashik, Kolhapur, Thane, Kalyan and Pune, attending processions, festivals and other celebrations where they made a living out of stealing valuables including ornaments of women. After a botched theft attempt went in 1990, they decided to use children while committing crimes to escape attention. Investigations revealed that they would kidnap children from various places and use them to divert attention of people before thefts. They also used the children for petty crimes and begging. The police claim that between 1990 and 1996, the trio and Renuka's husband Kiran Shinde kidnapped 13 children below 5 years of age. The police probe revealed that the women killed 9 children and disposed of at least 5 bodies in different places across Kolhapur district. At least 5 children were reportedly murdered because they allegedly refused to cooperate or did not stop crying. Prosecutors in the case detailed spine-chilling stories of the trio's cruelty. In one instance, Anjana banged the head of a toddler against an electric pole to stop him from crying. His body was later disposed of near an old rickshaw heap. The toddler was among the first of the murders for which the sisters would be convicted. In another instance, a 2-year-old boy was hanged upside down and his head was slammed repeatedly against the wall. Another child was drowned by Renuka and Seema in the bathroom. They killed another 2 and a half year old girl, stuffed her body in a bag and took it to cinema theater where they coolly watched a film and later dumped the body on the way home. The law finally caught up with them in October 1996 and they were arrested by Kolhapur police. Police officers who probed the case at the time believed that the numbers of kidnappings and murders could have been more than that the suspects were prosecuted for. It was suspected that the number of children they kidnapped at various places could be more than 40. However, in the absence of electronic clues that are available today, police could get prosecutable evidence for only some of them. Earlier, special public prosecutor Ujwal Nikam had said that we limited the period of killing to 6 years. However, this had been going on for longer than that. the women could not remember how many children they had killed in 1996 anjana renuka and seema were arrested along with renuka's husband kiran shinde kiran later turned a prover in the case in 1998 50 years old anjana bai died in prison of illness in 2001 the two half sisters were sentenced to death by kolhapur high court In 2006, the Supreme Court upheld the death sentence. In October 2008, Seema filed a mercy petition to the president, while in October 2009, Renuka filed a mercy petition to the president. In August 2014, President Pranab Mukherjee rejected their mercy pleas. The sisters moved the Bombay High Court seeking judicial review of the president's decision. They sought a reduction in the sentence. There had been an inordinate delay. of 8 years Bombay High Court cites unexplained cross delay On December 22 2021 the court concluded its hearing On January 18 2022 the court ordered the commutation of the death sentences The court cancelled and set aside the warrant to execute the death penalty 
A division bench of Justice Nitin M. Jamdar and Justice Sarang V. Kotwal of the Bombay High Court admonished the state for unexplained gross delay in disposing of the sisters' mercy petitions. The Bombay High Court order read, Due to the casual approach of officers of state, mercy pleas were not decided for seven years, ten months and fifteen days between 2006 and 2014. Though, the procedures for deciding the mercy petitions mandate speed and expediency. The state machinery showed indifference and laxity at each stage of processing their files. However, the judges said that crimes committed by the convicts were heinous and they will remain at Yevara Jail in Pune for the rest of their lives.